Mother hires 13-year-old Nanny. Two hours later, she receives a message and discovers something terrible. Savannah Jones, 14, was looking after her niece, Zoe, four, at her family's house in Montclair, California. She opened the front door to find a stranger standing there, and she called out to him. As the man kicked down the door, she and Zoe took refuge in a bathroom together. He ransacked at least two rooms before being apprehended by police and escaping before they arrived. When an intruder kicked in their front door and barged into their home in Montclair on Tuesday afternoon, an adolescent girl and her little niece took refuge in a toilet within their home, according to authorities. The suspect knocked on the door of the 14-year-old girl's residence in the 10200 block of Monta Vista Avenue about 3.30 p.m., according to a news release from the Montclair Police Department. The 14-year-old girl was babysitting her 4-year-old niece at the time, the announcement said. In her police report, Savannah Jones stated that she peeked out her front door people and seen an unidentified man standing on her porch. She sprang into action very instantly. After hiding her niece Zoe in the bathroom for a while, the girl called her mother to come get her. While she was on the phone with her mother, the girl informed police that she heard the front door being kicked in and fled to the safety of her niece's apartment. I was quite terrified, not so much for myself as for Zoe, Savannah Jones said in an interview with KTLA. During their time in the restroom, Savannah said she instructed Zoe to remain silent as she texted her mother, in which she said that she was concerned the man would hear her. Savannah's mother, Maria Moratula, described the experience as gut-wrenching because she was unable to reach her daughter and her sister. After calling her neighbor, who then dialed 911, Moratala went over to the residence. According to the police, the suspect looted the mother's possessions in two rooms before fleeing without discovering the two girls who were hiding in a bathroom. Savannah is now being acclaimed as a hero in the community. Savannah Barragan's sister, Yesenia Barragan, describes Savannah as extremely brilliant and bold. She followed the rules to the letter. Police and a canine officer scoured the area but were unsuccessful in locating the suspect. According to authorities, he was described as black, between the ages of 20 and 30 years old, and bald. He was dressed casually in a sweater and jeans of a dark tone. Up to $1,000 is being offered for information that leads to the capture and conviction of the culprit. When an attacker kicked through her door and trashed her home, a quick-thinking babysitter hid herself and her four-year-old niece in the attic of her home. In their Montclair, California home on Tuesday, Savannah Jones, 14, was looking after her niece Zoe and was startled when she heard a knock at the front door. Savannah immediately got suspicious and the two of them took refuge in a bathroom while Savannah contacted her mother for assistance and the man forced his way into the house by kicking through the front door. She instantly got suspicious and sought refuge in a bathroom with Zoe, pictured before calling her mother for assistance. Zoe was the one who worried Savannah the most. I was more scared for Zoe than I was for myself, Savannah said. He came by the door where we were hiding because I could hear him walking through my mother's room. He wasn't supposed to know we were there, so I was praying for the best. As she looked through the peephole, she spotted a bald man standing outside and the door handle jiggling, she explained to the police. He began to forcefully knock on the door and then kicked it down, rummaging through at least two rooms before fleeing the scene. While Savannah was attempting to keep her small niece calm, she was messaging her mother, who was caught in traffic, to ask for assistance. While Savannah was attempting to keep her small niece calm, she was texting her mother, who was caught in traffic, and requesting assistance. It was she who told her she was concerned that the man would kidnap Zoe or otherwise harm them. She confided in her mother, Maria Muratala, that she was concerned that the man would overhear her and begged her to accompany her to her residence. Maria then alerted her next-door neighbor, who immediately called 911 and dispatched officers to the girl's residence. Savannah Barragon's sister, Yesenia Barragon, described her as extremely brilliant and bold. She followed the rules to the letter. She confined in her mother, Maria Muratala, that she was concerned that the man would overhear her and begged her to accompany her to the residence. Maria then alerted her next-door neighbor, who immediately dialed 911 and dispatched officers to the girl's residence. Unfortunately, the man managed to get away before the police came. Police department dispatched canine units to search the area, but they have not yet located the burglar.
Any tip leading to his identification or whereabouts will earn you a $1,000 reward from the police. He was described as a black man between the ages of 20 and 30 years old who was bald and dressed in a dark-colored hoodie and pants. If you have any information concerning the offense, please contact the Montclair Police Department at 909-621-4771. In another story today in our video, seconds after a stranded woman prays for help, Marines show up to save the day. It can take a long time for our screams for assistance to be heard and responded to. Other times, it takes place immediately after the event. A prayer for help was sent up to the heavens when Virginia Waller-Torres' automobile broke down in the midst of a flash flood outside Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. Five minutes later, six United States Marines descended from their bus and began wading through the choppy waters towards her car. It seemed as if they had been sent from somewhere else, from a greater power. Virginia remarked on the experience, I was afraid I was going to die, that a truck would hit us, and it seemed as if someone had heard me say something. Not only were they Marines, but they were also particularly powerful Marines. These soldiers were members of the Marine Corps Body Bearers, an elite corps tasked with the difficult task of lifting heavy caskets during funerals on the grounds of Arlington National Cemetery. They were such a pleasant and stunning sight in their clean dress uniforms that Virginia immediately got out her phone and began filming the rescue operation. Her car was quickly pushed to a higher elevation by the man, who exclaimed, This is the most American thing that has ever happened. Captain Mitchell Wojkowicz was one of the Marines who assisted Virginia on that particular occasion. He stated that because of the unit's physical size, assisting her was a no-brainer, and he expects that anyone in a similar scenario would do the same. It was Mitchell who stated that if there was anyone who was going to be able to help her, it was us. Because you've got six guys that are six feet tall and 230 to 240 pounds each. In agreement, Corporal Jared Tosner stated, It's simply about doing the right thing when no one's looking. The fact that anyone was filming or looking caught us by surprise. All we wanted to do was do the right thing. Virginia posted a video of her rescue to the social media platform TikTok, where it quickly went viral. Later, she got the opportunity to express her gratitude to Mitchell and Jared at the Marine Corps barracks in southeast Washington, D.C. She told the troops how much she appreciated their assistance, particularly considering her own grandfather was a World War II veteran who's buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Virginia's father served in the Gulf War as well. Both father and daughter were moved in tears when they informed them about the rescue. My father stated throughout the Gulf War that he had and continues to have a great respect for the Marines, Virginia explained. I sent him the video and when he called me back, he broke down and sobbed because that was such an emotional experience for him. Rescue missions like these should be the standard in our culture, according to both Marines who took part in the mission. As Jared said, if people just reciprocate that and do well towards others, I believe our society is moving in the right direction. What a dramatic and emotional day it must have been for this young lady. When you're in a jam again, we're going to pray that six hulking Marines will show up to help out as well. You never know what might happen. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.